Hey, what's up everybody? This is Zach B and welcome back to another brand new PS4 control moves video here on Blowout Gaming. I am so glad you guys joined me for today's episode because we are going over the tech skiff here on the PS4. And honestly guys, I just wanted to go through this because I myself had a little bit of difficulty using this when it first came out. And you know what? It has turned out to be one of the best items that you can have in the game. It has absolutely revolutionized taming, which I'm going to show you guys a little bit later. But first and foremost, let's go ahead and jump into the controls. All right, guys. Now, to drive the skiff, we're going to go ahead and press triangle. You're going to see you automatically mount it, but you do not take off. Now, the skiff runs on element for fuel. So as long as there's element in its inventory, you're going to go ahead and press X to take off. Now, immediately it's going to go into hover mode, and you can see that there's some fuel gauges there along the bottom. They're gonna show you some info about how much fuel you have, how much element you have, and what status the skiff is in. So basically, is it landed, is it hovering, or is it flying? Now, you're also going to be able to see the health bar in the top right-hand corner. Now, go ahead and press and hold the X button to raise the skiff up into the air. Now, press and hold the right stick to lower the skiff. And you can see that's how you're going to control the upward and downward movement of the skiff. Like usual, we're going to use the left and right sticks in combination to move and control the skiff and the camera so that you can get around the map. Now, it's really easy to control with a little bit of practice, but believe me, it is a little bit awkward in the beginning. Now, while we're flying around, guys, we're also going to be able to press L3 for a little bit of a speed boost. Nothing crazy, but it definitely helps. Honestly, the skiff builds momentum, so as long as you're not running it into things, it can actually be very, very quick. Over 100 meters, you are going to be in flying mode. Now, go ahead. While we're in flying mode, let's go ahead and just press triangle and we're going to go ahead and dismount the skiff now this is one of the best parts about the skiff guys is that it will hover in place while you move around on top of it and honestly this is kind of what i'm talking about you can go ahead and turn this into a literal mobile taming base and you can just run around with all of the supplies you need taming up as you go which is really really cool but my favorite part about this is actually the tractor beam now, we're going to go ahead and press L2 to enter the tractor beam mode. Now, as you can see, guys, I am out in the wild, and I have found myself a Quetzal. This is single-handedly revolutionized solo Quetzal taming. Check this out, guys. We're going to go ahead and hit L2, and it's going to capture the Quetzal in the tractor beam. It's going to automatically pull it up to the skiff, as you can see, and then we're going to go ahead and fly this back to base into our trap. Now, of course, it's a flyer, so we don't want it to get away. So what are we going to do? We're going to go ahead and lower the skiff into the trap very calmly. We're going to dismount, and then we're going to go ahead and just jump on the ground and shoot it. Now, of course, the tractor beam is still active, and we're going to go ahead and knock it out just like that. We can remove the skiff, and we have a tranked quetz in the trap. We can go ahead and tame it up, and before you know it, boom, just like that, you have yourself a solo Quetzal tame. It's honestly, it could not be any easier. But of course, we're gonna go ahead and keep going. Bigger and bigger, you couldn't believe it. Yes, uh, level 150 Rex. Come on, we have to pick this up, take this back and trap this one as well, just like that. Hit L2, boom, and then hit R2 to drop the dino into the trap this time because this one's, we're not worried about it flying away. Again, we're gonna land. Knock this bad boy out, and there you go. Just like that, a max level, super colorful Rex tamed up in absolutely no time. Guys, it's absolutely revolutionizing taming. Let's see if we can find one more. How about this mammoth? Holy smokes, let's tractor beam this bad boy and take this back and knock it out. Oh man, come on, this is so easy. I literally have tamed and filled three taming pens. My whole entire taming base is completely filled and I'm ready to tame some more. So honestly, guys, it's super, super simple. And you can also use the tractor beam on your own creatures. So you're going to go ahead and press L2 again to pick up the Velanosaur here. 
And then there's two different tractor modes when you're using it on your own. So you're going to see the white and blue mode and the green and blue mode, which you're going to go ahead and press the L2 button to scroll through each mode. Now, the white and blue holds the beam still, and then X and R3 control the skiff raising and lowering. But the beam and the Velanosaur stay in one place. Now, if you press L2 and switch it, the green mode is going to keep the skiff in place. And then the X and R3 button is going to control the beam raising and lowering. So a little bit more control, I guess. And honestly, this is the best thing to do if you're taming out and about. It makes everything a lot easier and you can get your guys up off the ground if you don't have cryopods for some reason. Honestly, this is a fantastic item. It's absolutely out of this world. And then we're going to go ahead and press R3 to lower ourselves all the way to the ground. And then press triangle to dismount. And lastly, we're going to hold triangle and choose try to land. And then it's automatically going to finish dropping. It's going to release the landing struts. And there you have it, guys. The PS4 control moves. Unbelievable. Super, super awesome item, guys. If you haven't already gotten it, get it as soon as possible because it is honestly going to change the game for you so that's going to do it for today's episode guys i really appreciate you hanging out with me make sure to hit that like button for me if you enjoyed today's episode and of course make sure to hit that subscribe button i appreciate all the support the channel is growing super fast and i cannot wait to see you guys in the next one